Hey, what is up, guys? It is AG, AG Brick Reviews here, and today we'll be looking at LEGO 6600 Highway Construction. So this site came out 20 years ago in the year 2000 and retails for $80. I bought this off of BrickLink, and yeah, let's get right into it. And this site is large. I couldn't even fit it in the frame. So our minifigures here, we have a construction worker, well, four of them. We have four construction workers, one police officer. I really like the print on this one. These two are the same. Uh, another nice print on the torso and on the face. A police officer uh, and a, well, I, he's also a construction worker by, or a crane manager, but I put him as a construction manager. On all of them, there is no back printing. I do like the white arms and the black torso on the police officer. And the police officer also has some nice prints and uh, sunglasses. And yeah. And before we get into everything, um, this set also came with a bunch of little materials, or not materials, but like little accessories. So we have a pickaxe, a jackhammer, a shovel, a buzzsaw, and a broom. And before we also get into everything else, we have a construction site sign. I believe these are all prints. Uh, 30 miles per hour speed sign a stop i don't know what this sign means but i think it just means like stop or something another construction road sign get two of these and a sign telling people to go to an uh switch into another lane i believe and those are all the road signs you get you get a bunch of nice accessories so let's get into the first truck the first truck is going to be this um backhoe um you can open this up right here. Using the on green lights because it's 2000. In the late 90s to... I'd say around 1996 to 2000. They used all of these bright green. A seat in there for a construction worker. A little cup. Wine glass piece to use for smoke. A little um, hook right here. Some red lights. And then these, I believe, are also prints. Yeah. It's kind of hard to look. Kind of hard to... Um, Make sure it's a print or a sticker, but I believe this is all prints. You have some more prints right here. Big wheels, and it's built on um, this one plate, but they add these two big uh, pieces right here for the wheels. This um, thing, sorry I say um so much. <laughs> this thing right here can go up and down, and it can pick up little, I don't know what these are called, cement pieces, I believe, or just regular rubble. You can put it in here. And there is a play feature with the crane, but we'll get into that last. Very basic design. I mean, for 2000, this is also towns before city and all that. So, I mean, for the for that year, good design. For now, though, this is very basic. Our next design, or not design, but our next truck is a police truck. It's the green and black police thing, which wasn't the best blue, blue lights i actually like these lights um green window built on one big white frame and then they attach these little pieces for wheels you have this these um little bars that stick out so you will tell people to stop or go somewhere else and then you have this thing here that can lift up using these um using these things i don't know what they're called it'll lift up right here and it'll tell people where to go Oh, I saw the camera, I'm sorry. So, it'll tell people where to go. We have some bright green lights and some red lights. More prints on all these more neon green lights. Four, all these are four stud wide, except the this backhoe, or not backhoe, this tipper truck. But, I like how everything fits in nice. Nothing, like, sticks out that much, unless you make it stick out. Um, also, another seat in there for our little policeman. And yeah, this is a build. Very basic and simple. Our next build is this tipper truck. It's big, six big wheels. Um, this tipper thing can go and tip. And they're supposed to use this with the crane for the cement rubble pieces. Nice crossbar in the front they use. More neon green lights. Again, a little seat. In a little place where smoke comes out. These are gray wine glass. Um, same mechanism as a um, little police truck. Just lift it up. 
or just tip it like this. More space in there. And finally, let's get to the crane. So the crane here is built on two big blue pieces. I don't like about this is use neon green pieces, which are actually nice, but I don't like how they added the wheels on the bottom like this. It could just um, left it with no base, just the blue. Um, this crane piece right here attaches, you can put rubble in here. Then over here, you use a long string to attach it to the hook and the cement, or not cement, but like they use it the string to attach to the hook and this long chain piece a seat for your passenger and a little mechanism which can turn it extend out farther or extend out back or extend out not that much bring it back it can turn and yeah this is a very basic crane build i don't like the bottom of it but i mean for the time it's really good and you can put little rubble in here I think this thing's supposed to go on the top. I don't know what the- Oh, this is for the hook. Right here. Put some rubble in there. Then you go to the tipper truck, and you just tip it out. Yeah, I don't think this piece is supposed to- I think this piece is supposed to just stay there or go on the bottom. I don't know. You attach it to the little hook up here. And there's also another piece you can attach. It's a little thing that usually even- not or not a string, but not a magnet, but a little spring that, yeah. So it'll claw it, and you can attach it. I I don't know where, but you can attach it or just add the string, like what I did with this thing. Um, I think this thing works better. I mean, it's you play with it more. You have to actually like, do stuff with it. You can grab it and release it. I'm not gonna attach it to the crane right now, but that's what it does. And finally, we're gonna get to the big part of the set which is actual construction highway or just highway so these bricks right here it's not one mold you can take it apart and what they do is that they use these big pieces right here it's um one big mold and then they attach regular bricks on right there and you place it your highway piece right there you don't have to make it where it curves around like this you could just make it use this one this one and this one as like a bridge and that's how we use for all of these. You have one, you have two downward pieces, uh, one straight and one curved. These pieces sell for a lot, which is why it's that goes for a lot nowadays. These pieces, I don't think were ever made again. And for only 317 pieces and $80, it may seem like the price apart is a lot, but it really isn't knowing that this is a big mold. These are big molds. This right, these two big molds right here. And you can put only four stud wad cars on here they perfectly fit like that if you try to get a bigger car like a four-stud wide with fenders this is a coastal or a coast guard 4x4 truck that may review soon 2008 right here it'll it'll barely squeeze in you know you just have to like make sure it won't go over any of the lines but a 4x4 truck is the best that it will fit what i recommend doing is having a road base plate here and then a water one and then another road base plate as like a bridge or you can just use it as a regular highway set if i add this in my study i'll use it as a bridge but yeah so that is set let's go over some of the instructions let me just set the, the back down on the stand move the coast guard truck out the way you had all these um instructions were foldables except the crane one this one built the backhoe this one built the little tipper truck and they're like foldable instructions, like the ones from nowadays they put in the poly bags. Usually these would be one small little instruction booklet. Here's one to build the bridges. Here's a big one. This is to build the crane. This is some alternate builds that you used to do. I don't, I don't, I don't believe they had instructions for these, but you just had to make it yourself. It give you a recommendation. Here's how it looks. This is how it looked on the box. And this is how it's supposed to look, or not how it's supposed to look, but this is how it's just supposed to be tipping. This is how the tipping mechanism works. I kind of failed at it. Um, and yeah, that's highway construction set. Would I recommend buying it? If you're big into city sets, yes. I would recommend buying it. It's a very great set.
It'll cost you around, I bought it for 110 That was the set, including shipping, which is a very good deal. And these parts itself go for, these highway parts itself go for around 25 to 20 15 to 25 a piece. So if you want to buy a set, it is around 100 to 130 I got a good deal on it, so I'm happy I got that. Five minifigures for this big construction set will is really nice. And what do you buy? Well, uh, what do you? Would I buy it? Yes. The only thing I don't like about the set is then again the wheels. But you can always just take these off and put it on like a regular base plate. That's what I plan on doing if I ever make a city and I put and I have these. I'm just gonna take them out. What else I don't like about it is how it's so simple. But then again, it is a town set from 20 years ago, so of course it's gonna be simple. Uh, this is back during the Ghost Dark Age where they made a bunch of weird molds and weird pieces because they're trying to compete with other brands. So they made, this is probably one of the uh, outcomes of that. They made this set with a highway. They never made this set again. They never made a set with a highway again. And yeah, it's a very good set. Probably give it an eight out of 10. I mean, back then, 300 pieces, 315 pieces, 17 actually, for $80 wasn't that good, but knowing these parts are really rare and stuff, I'd recommend buy it if you're big in the city. If you're not, uh, you could probably pass on it and probably buy a newer construction set. And yeah, that's the video. Make sure y'all hit like, comment, and subscribe. And see y'all later.